Day 39, but may I ask, what's in your bag? Hey there, I'm Bill from the Trek Bike Store. I am gonna take you through what's in the bag, man. So when you're out riding on the road, you wanna carry some stuff that's gonna get you home. Um, so I have in front of me a few things that you'll uh, be able to attach underneath the saddle of your bike. That way it stays with your bike all the time. You don't have to worry about remembering to bring it with you. So this is the bag that you'll carry the stuff in. So we have two different sizes, um, a small one and a big one. Um, I always recommend taking the smallest one possible because you won't pack as much junk. You know, you buy a nice light bike and then you put a whole bunch of stuff in it and the bike isn't light anymore. So I always recommend the smallest one you can use. Uh, what we also have is we'll have a CO2 cartridge and a CO2 inflator. So what a CO2 cartridge and inflator does is it instantly inflates your tire. So this is compressed air, pump your tire up in seconds. Um, way easier than using a mini pump. Um, downside to them is that you get one flat per cartridge. So if you get two flats, you need to carry two cartridges, which means you're getting into a bigger bag. So one cartridge, one flat, next one you're walking home. This is a mini pump that you could carry if you choose to go that way. Uh, the downside to these guys is they don't get you as much pressure as a CO2 cartridge will get you. So this, you can, the CO2, you can continue your ride. This one basically is gonna just limp you home. These ones though, you can get more than one flat. The other thing you can carry is a patch kit. They got these cool, super cool new ones that are basically like a band-aid for your tire. So it's a peel and stick, you just stick it on the, on the tube and uh, it will get you home. Once you get home, you're gonna wanna change the tube and put a nice fresh new tube in there. Uh, tire levers, these are gonna help you get your tire off of the rim. And then I always recommend, this is a valve adapter. So road bikes come with the Presta valve, which is that funky French valve. Um, this turns it into a gas station valve. So in desperate times, you could pump a tube up at a gas station. Not normally recommended because the uh, pressures are wrong and off, not quite high enough and not accurate enough. But in a jam, we'll get you home. Also, it's not very big to carry. Okay. Uh, the other thing you're going to need is you're going to need a tube. So the tube is specific to the type of bike that you have. It's going to be the diameter of your tire and the width of your tire that will determine along with the length of the valve. So different wheels will have different valve lengths. So familiarize yourself with your tire, your rim depth, tire width, and so you get the right tube to put in your kit as well. Okay, so what we have here is we have my seat bag. So we're going to see what's in the bag. I don't actually know. So I hope that there's a good tube in here and maybe a functioning CO2. Because there has been many times where there isn't. Okay, one tire lever. Um, if you're good, you only need one. I guess you gotta refer to the how to change a tire video. Okay, <laughs> there's my one CO2. It's got my one get me out of jail free card, not used. You can tell if it's used because the end of it will be punctured. Okay, so not used. Okay. Here is my tube. So you see my tube has a long valve. I uh, ride a deeper wheel. So the deeper wheel needs a longer valve to get through the rim. So long valve tube, folded up nice and neat. So it fits into the smaller bag. Let's see what else is in here. Here's my CO2 inflator. So that's gonna inflate the CO2 cartridge into the tire. Super easy, everybody's really scared of using these things, but they're super easy to use and they work instantly. So it's like, instead of sedaning at the side of the road, pumping away with one of these guys, you're filled up and ready to go in seconds, okay? Let's see what else. We also have a shiny quarter. Oh, fancy. So, when in doubt, call a friend. There you go. So that'll keep you on the road. If you get a flat out there, you need to know how to use the stuff. Um, you're prepared. Even if you don't know how to use the stuff, at least you have it with you so that if somebody stops and give you a hand, you can show them what you have and they can fix it for you. There mm -hmm. you go. Hopefully you don't get a flat, but if you do, you'll be ready. 
If you like these videos, please give them a thumbs up. Comment below. I want to hear from you guys. What was your biggest takeaway from today's video? And hey, don't forget to subscribe.